This is a quick review on changes to ecosystems. There are three factors that can change an ecosystem. It can be something to do with meteorology, it can be geologic, the one we're going to focus on is human impact. Um, weather obviously changes throughout the course of history. Uh, geology with tectonic plates changes as well. Human impact is what we have occurring now. Climate change can cause ecosystems to change. So if we have melting polar ice caps, we're changing the ecosystem there and changing the ecosystem in the oceans as well. We have pollution. This can be thermal pollution, chemical pollution, light pollution. Um, air pollution, water pollution, changes the ecosystem, can change the pH balance, for example, or if you even change the temperature, which is what thermal pollution is, it can cause some things to grow, which will cause other things to die. We have non-native species being introduced. These are exotic species that take over the role, which is considered a niche in an environment, and it takes the role of the native species, choking out the native species, and then creating a whole new ecosystem dynamic. For example, stink bugs in Western PA um, are a non-native species, so there's no real predator as of yet, so they can just keep growing in population numbers. And then we have fires, which destroy ecosystems. When an ecosystem is totally destroyed, for example, in a fire, it goes through primary succession. And the primary succession is starting over from scratch, meaning it takes bare rock and makes it into soil. If soil already exists, we get secondary succession, and it's just a growth. So this picture is showing us some primary succession where we start with exposed rock. We then get lichen, which allows for mosses to grow. We get grass and weeds, uh, usually from spreading of, of seeds from wind. Um, and then all the way up to a climax forest, which will include your hardwoods, your more mature trees.